Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. If P, then if Q, then R. If and only if, if P and Q, then R. Now, we're trying to prove a statement containing if and only if. So what we're going to do is we're going to prove if this is true, then this is true. And then we're going to prove if this is true, then this is true. Let's start out by proving if this is true, then this is true. To do so, suppose this is true. From here, we want to show that this is true. And to prove this, what we want to do is we want to prove under the assumption P and Q is true, it follows that R is true. So let's suppose that P and Q is true. Well then, P is true, also Q is true. Now since P and P implies Q implies R, these two statements tell us that Q implies R must be true. And then since Q and Q implies R, these two statements tell us that R must then be true. So putting this together, we see that under the assumption P and Q is true, it follows that R is true. Therefore, if P and Q is true, then R is true. So putting this all together now, we see that under the assumption that this is true, it follows that this is true. So we have proven if this is true, then this is true. So now let's prove the other direction. Let's prove if this is true, then this is true. And to do so, suppose this is true. From here, we want to prove that this is true. And we're really trying to prove under the assumption P is true, we have if Q is true, then R is true. So let's suppose that P is true. Right, and under the assumption that P is true, we want to show if Q is true, then R is true. So we want to prove under the assumption Q is true, R is true. So let's suppose Q is true. From here, we want to show that R must then be true. Well, since P is true and Q is true, we have that P and Q is true. But then, since P and Q and P and Q implies R, these two statements tell us that R must then be true. So putting this together, we see that under the assumption Q is true, it follows that R is true. Therefore, if Q is true, then R is true. And now we see under the assumption P is true, it follows that if Q is true, then R is true. Right, and now putting this all together now, we see under the assumption this is true, we have that this is true. So we have proven if this is true, then this is true. And we've proven both directions of the if and only if. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.